Hey! <laughs> Welcome to today's video. We are here today to do a lockdown haul. So in this I'm going to be writing everything that I've bought while I've been in lockdown. So obviously most of this has been ordered offline. A couple of things we've bought since um, shops have reopened here in Wales. So um, yes, we've been out a couple of times. Yes, we've been social distancing. Yes, we've been wearing masks. Let's get on with the haul. Um, I'm going to try and put prices and links in the description to anything that is still available. The first thing is the biggest purchase of lockdown. It is my Nintendo Switch. Ooh, you can see my plants <laughs> reflected. Anyway, yeah, it's my Nintendo Switch. I caved in and bought one at the beginning of lockdown. It took me ages to find them because they're out of stock in so many places. Like, it is, it was crazy. I was had, like, the stock informer on constantly day all day all night <laughs> not all night I wrote on all day and like I would I was watching it until they came in uh, I got this one from Smith's the toys shop uh, and I had to have it with express delivery it came to like 285 pounds ish which is average for a Nintendo switch and I really really wanted it and it has been a godsend <laughs> in uh, uh, lockdown because I've spent over 180 hours in Animal Crossing alone. So yeah, the games I bought for my Switch, I obviously bought myself Animal Crossing New Horizons straight off. Um, I've played a couple of videos on my channel of this, so if you want to check those out. Uh, the mini just villager searches and island tours. I need to do an updated island tour really badly because my island looks so much better than it did that first time. So um, expect that to come at some point. And then my brother also bought me a game for my Switch. He bought me Spyro uh, the Reignited Trilogy, which I really, really wanted to play. I've completed the first game in it. Not 100%ed it because I'm not very good <laughs> at Spyro or platformers in general, but I really enjoyed it. It makes me shout and get really annoyed at it. <laughs> um, yeah, I have been playing this quite a bit. The next things I bought were, I am actually not going to show them, but I'm going to show you some related items in a minute. I bought some paints, clay and clay tools, um, mainly from the works, some from Amazon, but I use it to make tiny little figurines. I'll show you some of the ones I've made with the new pack of clay. First one is my cat. I made my cat with clay. Um, <clears throat> don't have to show this. Here we go. There we go. Uh, yes, there's a reason his eye, this eye is different to that eye, because my cat's eyes are completely different final one, I've actually got a full video of this coming up on my channel really soon because I finally completed this yesterday, is Stitches from Animal Crossing. I made a little clay version of him. I think it looks really cool. It's one of the best clay creatures I think I've ever made. Especially because there were so many different colours and tiny different parts and very complicated. But I'm really proud of that one. The next thing is another art style thing. It is this scratch art engrave engrave and learn fun travel book uh, i bought this off amazon for like six pound six pound fifty ish and it has all these um animals that you <laughs> scratch out and in like it's it's got the outlines on them and you scratch it off to reveal the like shiny metal underneath i don't know if anyone did these when they were kids but i i had a couple when i was a child and I'm the kind of person who can't sit still. Like, I've constantly got to be doing something with my hands. Like, I've got to be um, on my phone while I'm watching TV or something. I've got I've got to multitask. So what I've really enjoyed doing in the evenings of a lockdown has been watching TV with my family and just filling in. So these, this was the first one I did. It was the lion. Um, I think these are really good. I've only done half of them so far. So definitely worth the money. I'll put a link to them in the description. There's this one, which is the wildlife of the world. And there's two other animal ones, one's North American animals, one's pets and friends. And the other one is buildings around the world, which I think I'm going to get next when I finish this one. Because I, I really enjoy them, actually. I think it's something I'm going to do outside of lockdown as well. It comes with one tool, but I found that went blunt really quickly. So I also bought a new set of five engraving scraper cutter sets. Um, I found these much better and they also come in different shapes and sizes. Next things, right, this is from a brand that I do not really want to be advocating because I know there's been a lot of um, problems with them at the moment. I do not want to encourage people to buy from them because of the problems within the company and the way they treat their workers. But I have to put them in because these are things that I have bought 
These next two items are from Boohoo. Firstly, I bought this jumper, which kind of looks yellow on camera, but it's more nude. It's like a turtleneck, roll neck. This jumper only cost me £3.20, so it was really cheap, and I'm going to wear it a lot over winter. The other thing I bought from Boohoo were these leggings. They're kind of ribbed. Um, they were only £4.80, and I really, really needed cheap leggings because if I'm like anyone else in lockdown, uh, we've been wearing a lot of loungewear type things and leggings have been very important. Okay, the next thing is a book that I bought. I've bought so many more books. So the first book I caved in and bought was when I was in Tesco's doing food shopping. Uh, it was The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes by Suzanne Collins. Um, I love the Hunger Games series and I was also really, really excited for this to come out. I was going to wait for it to come down in price or be released in the paperback version so it would be cheaper. But I couldn't wait because I was just so excited for it. And it was only about £10 in hardback, which was the cheapest I'd seen it. So I, I, I caved. I had to have it. It went straight in the trolley. I've heard a lot of mixed reviews about this. Um, a lot of people haven't enjoyed it at all. Some people haven't enjoyed, like, the, the last... Around the 75% mark. Some people have said that's really boring. It loses its flow. There's no action. I would agree around the, the, the last quarter of it isn't as good. And I did predict some of the things that were going to happen around that time. And I also wasn't a fan... Yeah, I wasn't a fan of the progression of um, Lucy Gray herself. But overall, this is one of my favourite books I've read this year. It is so good. <laughs> I love learning about Snow and his family and um, how the game has progressed as well, like from this beginning where they weren't appreciated in the capital and or in the districts and nobody watched them to how they were in the 74th and 75th Hunger Games as we see them with Katniss was just so exciting to me. I could do a full review on just this book and I could talk about it for hours I think. Um, let me know in the comments if you'd like to hear a full book review because I would love to do some more book tube content on this channel because I really, really have got back into reading over lockdown. And yeah, this book was definitely one of my favourites. And I know that's a really controversial opinion, but I, I, I enjoyed it almost as much as the original Hunger Games. I will not say as much. I would recommend it, especially if you've read the other Hunger Games books and you want to get drawn back into the world of Panem. And if you just want a really good read about a villain character who you're not going to... You're not going to sympathise with him. You don't have to sympathise with the villain. Now I've talked forever about uh, Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. I'm going to move on to something I bought. Um, quite cheap of Amazon. These only cost me about a pound. But I saw them on there and I had to have them. I have got really into space. Space X in particular. And moon landings. And rocket launches. And I've been into this for like the last year. I'm actually taking an astrobiology course in my spare time because I am just a nerd like that. I love space. So I bought these for about a pound off Amazon. These tiny little, how do I show these? <laughs> these, hmm, hmm, these tiny little spacemen earrings. They're not focusing. Aha, there they go. They're like asymmetrical earrings. Um, they're studs, they're quite big. And they're just, one is the spaceman reaching for the star, and the other one is the spaceman astronaut. The astronaut uh, holding the star. And I just think they're so cute. The next thing is books. Again, um, my mum made an order with uh, the works. They had three books for £5, and there was three young adult books that looked pretty good. I've read one of them, I'm halfway through, three quarters of the way through the third, second one, and I haven't started the third one yet. But... These are the books. The first one was The Boyfriend List by E. Lockhart. Um, I've actually read this before. I hadn't realised it and didn't remember it and I hadn't recorded it on my Goodreads, which was super annoying. But I had read it before and it is just that really, really nice, summery, chiclet, easy going, happy read that I just, I, I enjoy in a summer time when you just don't want to concentrate on too much. The next book, which is the one I'm currently reading, is All the Crooked Saints by Mikey Saifata. Um, I've read a few Maggie Stifata books in the past. I've read uh, The Raven Boys, 
But again, I'm going to have a controversial book opinion. I didn't really enjoy it that much. I thought it was okay, but not amazing, even though I've heard some great reviews about it. I've also read her other ones, Ballad and whatever the other one in that series is called. I really enjoyed those, but I was a lot younger when I read them, so maybe that was just me as a child really enjoying them. Uh, but I read most of this one. I'm on page 254, and I have actually really, really enjoyed this. I love the whole idea of it being about saints and miracles. I like the um, family group, how you get to know all the characters and their backstories. And what I really love is that it goes off on tangents. Like, it starts talking about different issues in the family. It talks about things that have happened in other towns and other people, and just these little things. And it makes you feel like you know the world, and you know the people really well. And I, I've really enjoyed that. And the third book, which I haven't started yet, is Even Adam by Michael Grant and Catherine Applegate. I'm reading the back to try and figure out what it's about. It's about a girl, a 16-year-old girl, who is the daughter of a billionaire genetic scientist, and when she has a near-fatal road accident, she, her mother allows her to create the perfect boy with cutting edge a virtual reality system. It looks interesting. I'm going to skip through these quickly because there's not anything I can show you here, but I bought a few games. I actually bought the Ichio bundle, uh, the Ichio uh, Racial Injustice bundle, which, for, which had loads of games in it for like $5. Um, games I'm looking forward to playing it in, in it are Night in the Woods, which I've been looking forward to playing for ages, it's been on my wish list. Uh, I think Celeste's in it, which is supposed to be really good. There's loads of other games, there's quite a few like space games in there that I'm really looking forward to playing. Uh, yeah, that's, that's that. I'm not going to go any more in depth about it. Uh, the next thing I bought was the Minnie Mouse main attraction pins for the month of... What is the sixth month of the year? Ah! January, February, March, April, May, June! For the month of June. Um, I haven't been collecting them all, I said that. I collected the teacups ones earlier in the year and the ones I bought this time were the Peter Pan pins. first one was the pirate ship, which is like 3D bubble effect. I really love that. I think it's really pretty. Um, the next one is Minnie Mouse herself in this beautiful sparkly blue sky design. I think that's really nice as well. And then this is my favourite one, is the ear hat, which has the, sec the star with the second on the right, the clock tower. And if you look really close to the things, you can see the silhouettes of Peter, Wendy, John and Michael in the bow itself. The next thing I bought, I haven't actually got yet, I bought some artwork from one of my favourite artists on Twitter and Instagram. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to pronounce their name because I have no idea how and I don't want to get it wrong, but, in but their Instagram and Twitter name is here. They make the greatest art. I love the all this stuff. By the time I edit this, I'm probably going to have pictures and videos of it, so I'll actually insert it here. But I bought these three postcards. Wow, I bet it looks lovely. Hmm. <laughs> then I also bought a Loki and Thor postcard because I love this design so, so, so much. It is the nicest, nicest um, design I've ever seen. It's my favourite piece of Marvel fan art in the world. And then I also bought the um, Avengers Endgame poster. Oh, and I almost forgot my Loki pin that I bought from them. Um... Yeah, I hope you're seeing these and you're really, really liking them. I will leave a link to their store in the description, so if you want to check out their stuff, they also make a lot of other fan art and their own original um, characters. One of the places that opened up first in, in Wales was the Garden Centres, and when we were there, I bought myself um, these cacti seeds. I am obsessed with cacti and succulents and plants. I love growing things. Me and my mum have been growing things on our patio this year, lots of fruit and veg. This pack of seeds cost me £3 and it had like 30 seeds in it. Obviously they're not all going to grow. I've had no growth yet. I've planted them all. I will show you them. So here is where I've planted them. I bought this tray from B&M Bargains for like 2 I think. And then in here I have my seeds on top. You can see one of them by there, that little white thing. <laughs> That's, that's a seed. It does say on the packet they can take one to six months to germinate, so I am not expecting to see cacti anytime soon. Okay, I'm gonna go back to Boohoo again. I did recently buy a skirt from them, 
Um, it is this blue check plaid plaid, whatever you call it, skirt, skater style, box pleat skirt. This skirt cost me £5.60. Next two things I ordered from ASOS. Um, the first thing is this kind of off-white cream ivory, I don't know what you'd call it, <laughs> skirt. Um, it's got these buttons and it's like sheer top and it's kind of like uh, lines on it. It's really creased. I don't know why. I'm so sorry. Everything I show in these is so creased. This was around £8-ish. I'll try and put a link to it in the description. The other thing I bought from ASOS is this daisy dress. This is now one of my new favourite pieces in my wardrobe. It's just so simple. Um, this cost around £11, I think. And it's just so pretty and I just, oh, I'm in love with it. I, I just, this pattern, look at it. And the colour, mm, so pretty. I'm so happy with this. It's like the nicest thing I've bought. The next two things, uh, three things actually, I bought from Coots, uh, Cutesy Kink as they were closing down recently. Um, so I, I had 50% off all these in their closing down sale. First thing I bought, I'll show you the little thing first. I bought this pack of Japanese stickers. You can see on the back, those are the different designs on the stickers. These cost me like 75p on sale, so I had to get them for my scrapbook. And I'll show you the two clothing pieces I got from this. First one is this t-shirt. It's got this little bow neckline and these two embroidered strawberries on the front. It is super cute. I really like this t-shirt. It's really simple. Sorry if I seem to be talking faster or... Um, quieter or just really badly and coherently. I'm starting to get a headache and um, I kind of just want to finish this video up. I've got two more things to go. This next item is a dress and it is so pretty. This cost me £10 um, on sale which is such a bargain. It is this dress here, this corset style dress as it's called on the website. It's got this net here and then an off the shoulder look, but obviously it's not off the shoulder because this net holds it up, which is amazing for me because I hate off the shoulder clothes. And then this red ribbon, which goes into a corset, and then this skirt. I'm so hoping you hoping that you are seeing a um, try on thing at the moment because I'm struggling to show it to you. And now I think I have saved the most boring <laughs> item to last. I genuinely do not know why I left this. I kind of did it in. Um, chronological order so I guess that's why this one is last but here we go are you excited for what is most definitely the most boring thing I have bought in lockdown oh here it is it is a bedside table I bought this bedside table for my uni new uni flat um to my by my bed to put my stuff on it's white cost ten pound it's got a drawer in it why did I show this? <laughs> it's also really heavy. I'm going to finish this up here. Thank you so much for watching. Comment down below uh, your favourite thing I bought. Anything that you've bought over lockdown. Have you bought more or less in lockdown? What, what, what have you been eyeing up to buy next? I've been looking at keyboards. And sewing so machine oil. Really exciting things there. Uh, keyboards in like piano keyboard. Comment down below if you want to see a new island tour I'm crossing. Comment down below if you want to see some more book review videos. Um, comment down below if, if you're fed up with me saying comment down below. Comment down below if you want me to shut up full stop. Any of those, just just, just leave a comment. That'd be nice. <laughs> uh, but thank you for watching and I will see you soon.